You're listening to the Yahoo Finance Small Cap Show, powered by Agoracom.com, the web's leading small cap portal. Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, an exclusive program of Agoracom, in which clients get an opportunity to discuss important press releases and developments in further detail. Today, we're talking with Armada Data Corporation, trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under the stock symbol ARD. The company today posted record Q1 results and announced that earlier today on Friday, October the 30th. A little bit about the company. This is a profitable, web-enabled automotive information services company providing accurate and real-time pricing data to institutional and retail customers on a fee-for-service basis. Here to talk a little bit more about the company is Paul Timoteo, President. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you, George. Paul, before we go into the record numbers, uh, you know, on, on the revenue and income side and all of that, let's talk just briefly about what is it that Armada provides to consumers, and then what is it that you provide to insurance companies that has led to these great record numbers today? Uh, well, there, there are basically uh, the, the, the main product that, that we have, or what we call our raw uh, product, uh, is new car pricing data. So we gather new car pricing data on every, virtually every new car in Canada. Right. But not only the retail prices, but also the dealer invoice prices, so what the dealer pays for the car. All current factory incentive programs, so the manufacturers are constantly, constantly throwing factory incentive programs to, uh, to sweeten the, the deals for both consumers and corporations to try to sell their vehicles. Um, we have all of that data. And then we also have relationships with dealers throughout the country who've all agreed to sell vehicles, whether it's to... Um, our individual uh, clients or whether it's the insurance companies at greatly reduced prices. So we basically take all of that data and then we repackage it in two main areas. So one is called Armada Insurance Services and what we do there is we use the data to help insurance companies settle claims when you've had an accident or your car's been stolen. Right. So we use that information and help them. So we're, we're kind of like one little piece of of the pie in the insurance settlements claims uh, business. On the other side is our retail services. So there we use the same data for consumers. So if somebody's going out to buy a new car, they'll be able to find out what the dealer paid for the car, uh, which dealers are offering the best deals, and we can redirect them that way. And that's through our website at carcostcanada.com. And and that's amazing because, uh, and that's something that our listeners can relate to, uh, you know, being able to find the exact vehicle you want with the options you want, and then basically discovering what the dealer invoice price is. And uh, and then being able to either negotiate a great deal when you go in to negotiate, or you uh, or you even direct them to dealers who are willing to pay, who are willing to sell a vehicle at the dealer cost plus five hundred bucks. And you'll be happy to know, Paul, that uh, when we when we took on your contract, a couple of my employees and our attorney all told me within about a couple of hours that they all had used your service uh, in the past twelve months, and they were really happy about it because it saved them time, money, and energy. So I, I like that about your business. Yeah, that, that's what it's all about. All right, so let's go. You know, we all hear about a lot of great companies. There's a lot of great companies out there. They talk a big game, especially on the technology side. They all think they've got the next great killer. Uh, but the failure of most of them, unfortunately, is that they just don't deliver at the end of the day or they don't have a solid revenue model. Armada is anything but. Today, you, uh, you announced revenues were up 58%. Your net income is up 244%. And, in fact, not only do you pay a dividend uh, to your shareholders, but you're actually announcing that you're going to increase uh, you're, you're going to increase that dividend. So what do you attest this growth to? Uh, the revenue is about $750,000 and uh, net income about $156,000. What do you attest that great growth to? Uh, basically, the, the, the bottom line on, on how we got there um, was we built as fully automated a system as possible. Uh, the same way Agoracom has, has fully automated the IR uh, uh, you know, space, we right. basically did the same thing uh, on our end. So therefore, you know, we've actually created a company that with only $2 million in gross revenue actually produces a profit. And at that level, we were at approximately 10% bottom line. At the current level that we're at in the Q1 and moving forward, uh, that number is now going to uh, move to about a $3 million uh, gross revenue with about a 20% bottom line. Right. And let's remember, yeah, that you report $2.1 million for the year ended in May, and you reported just under $750,000 for this first quarter. So if we extrapolate out that number, that's where you're getting the $3 million figure from. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And, and so based on that 750 gross revenue, we're producing 150 bottom line. There's that 20% goal we were looking for. So what that basically proves to us is 
as revenues grow, our bottom line as a percentage will actually grow as well, increasing that number dramatically. And that's the key to this whole thing, is I don't want anybody in the company doing anything manually that I can get a machine to do. Right. Right, because you know, when when you uh, when you pay somebody a salary, that's a very expensive piece of equipment that you're leasing. Right, you're paying somebody fifty grand a year. That's a five to six thousand dollar a month lease on sure. a piece of equipment that only works eight hours a day. Talking about your growth going forward, Paul. One thing I've been trying to impress upon investors out there is that yes, the mining space is a great space to be in, and we're going to need these commodities for years to come. So definitely a good space to make investments in. But it seems like a lot of people don't understand that Web 2.0 companies like yours, web-enabled companies like yours, are only at the beginning of their growth. The misconception is that uh, well, everybody uses the web, so it can't get any bigger than it is today. But what I'm trying to impress upon people is yes, everybody's using the web, but now people are going to go deep into the web. They're going to go beyond surfing and beyond email and some basic social media things, and they're going to incorporate into their daily lives. For example, you need to buy a car. You don't move until you get to Car Cost Canada and check out dealer invoicing. Is that where you see a lot of your growth coming from in the future? Uh, absolutely. The, the more people get involved with, with technology and get comfortable with it, the more they are going to use it. So, you know, people are moving from, from simply just checking their email to doing a little bit of surfing to that sort of thing to basically just, just living on the Internet for every piece of information you can think of. You know, even, even when you see two guys arguing in a bar, the only way they're going to settle the, the, uh, the, the argument is do a quick Google search on their BlackBerry and bang. The I've probably done that six times in the last month with friends of mine where we said, let's Google this right now so we can get the actual facts out. Exactly. So it's just that, that, that comfort and that top of mind that no matter what information you're looking for, you can get that instantly.